interest has been in the Middle East for the last 20 years was I watched a documentary when I was 13. It showed a very different side of Palestinians to the one that I sort of grown up with to that point. And that really wakened my awareness. I think it awoke in me as a young man, this desire to look at things from other angles. So I, when I was old enough to travel out there on my own at 18, I traveled out to Palestine and I felt very inspired by the people I met. And I, so that really drove my interest in the Middle East and wanted me to deepen my knowledge, understanding and experience of the region. But that all came from a documentary when I was 13. The biggest challenge in my journey so far has been trying to break the framework of how I think. It's not until we step outside our own countries or outside our own cultures can we realize to what extent our thinking is shaped by our home environment. Turning point in my life really as with most people I think is when your first child is born or your second or your third, I have three children. So you are now obliged and you want to think about another and you step outside of yourself. The King Faisal Foundation Scholarship had a profound impact on my life. When I came to the Kingdom in 1999, I think I was the first scholar to do so. It was a steep learning curve for both myself, also the university, I think, having to accommodate this unusual Western academic who would wander around the streets in his suit. Of course, the kingdom has changed massively since then. But that year has been, really been quite instrumental in how I view the kingdom, how I view the region, and it's allowed me to develop long-term relationships and deepen my understanding of the kingdom and the Gulf and the MENA region.